Welcome back to Juniper Highlands. So this is Nicole and she's here to help me with the build. Hello. And today we're going to be going over lentils, cob, and a little bit about electrical. First up is lentils. A lentil is a structural member that holds the weight of a wall off of a window or a door. If it weren't for the lentil, the weight of the wall could cause your window to stick or even break. We're using railroad ties as our lentils. And in earthback building, you want your lentil to go about a foot beyond the edge of your window or door. And then we've attached the lentil to the wall using a Velcro plate. Now this Velcro plate is just a piece of OSB board that has nails going through in either direction. They go into the lentil and then sink into the wall as well. Now you can see that this lentil has a slight gap between it and the window. It's holding all the weight off of the window and then we'll fill that gap with cob later. So next up is cob. Since we're around 6,000 feet and it's the peak of summer, we've noticed some UV damage to some of the bags and decided to cob as we go to protect those bags. Uh, next up I'll show you how to make the cob. Cob is an earthen plaster which is a mixture of clay sand and straw. Our soil is a good blend of clay and sand, so all we have to do now is screen out the larger clumps. We're screening the soil with a half inch hardware cloth. So now we're going to mix the soil with the straw and the water to come up with a consistency that is spreadable and sticks to the wall. You might want to wear gloves because the soil tends to pull the moisture out of your hands and cause cracks. So this is the consistency that we're looking for, it is just a thick ball and uh, it's easy to spread and it'll stick onto the wall nicely. We added a little bit more straw uh, and water as we went and uh, yeah, this will work really well. So now I just take a little scoop and slap it up on the wall and spread it. You might want to keep a tray underneath your working area to catch the extra cob that falls off the wall. This is the first layer of earthen plaster that we are using to fill in the gaps and protect the bags. We will use a finer material to fill in any cracks and give it a nice fine smooth finish. And that leaves us with our electrical system. Our county allows for up to a 40 watt electrical system without any permits or inspections and since we wanted a very simple system we're going to use that as our guideline. So we have this 40 watt panel that's going to supply our electrical needs and it's enough to run a computer, charge a couple cell phones, and have a few lights. Um, temporarily we're going to be using a generator for some supplemental power but we have some ideas that are coming in the future to uh, replace that. The electrical system comes in from the panel which will be outside through this piece of plastic electrical conduit and then the wires can just run through the earthen plaster to wherever they need to go. This is an electrical box that's going to hold two switches. Uh, one switch for the front porch light and then one for the main light inside the building. It's just a standard uh, metal electrical box that I've screwed onto a 2x6 and then that can slip right between the bags. The wiring for this is then going to run through a piece of plastic conduit that will run to the lamps and then we can cob right over top of that conduit. Well that's it for today. And we'll keep you posted on what we're doing next.